Here are a couple notes on the units, a special case of the covariance, and then an introduction of something known as the variance covariance matrix. First of all, the units on the population variance are the product of the units on the random variable x and the units on the random variable y. That is to say, if x is the gross domestic product for a country measured in dollars, and the random variable y might be, say, energy consumption measured in perhaps kilowatt hours. Well, if that's the case, then the covariance between x and y will have some kind of strange units, which are dollar kilowatt hours. So sometimes these units are the same and sometimes they are different. But in either case, um, you just take the product of the units of x times the units of y. As indicated earlier, the variance is a special case of the covariance. That is to say, when you put in the covariance of x and x, that is the variance of x. And that leads to something known as a variance-covariance matrix. This is just a nice way of laying out all the variances and covariances in one setting. Now, this notation, which is not the best notation in the world because sigma is usually used for summations, but a lot of people use this sigma for the variance covariance matrix, and I've joined in because so many have done so. But what it has on the diagonals are basically the covariance of x and x, which is the variance of x here, and then here on this diagonal element you have the covariance of y and y, which is the variance of y. On the off diagonal elements, you have the covariance of x, y, and the covariance of y, x. These two happen to be equal, so this is also a symmetric matrix. It can be written in this way, so you see that there is a sort of index x here and y here, likewise x here and y here. So this is like a row column designator here on the various covariances. So if you extend this covariance matrix to three random variables, x, y, and z, you get the variance of x, variance of y, and variance of z on the diagonal. And then on the off-diagonal positions, you get the very various covariances. This one, of course, is also a symmetric matrix.